Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In today's video, uh, we are going to discuss about a new type of matrix, which is the complex matrix. Okay, so let us first uh, understand, uh, we all know uh, our real numbers, complex numbers. So first let us just brush up a few introductory concepts. A number this is a complex number. Okay. Where this A is the real part and B is the imaginary part. This I is also called as iota. I is equal to root over of minus 1. This, these are some of the basic things. We all know that. So, a matrix can contain both real numbers as well as complex numbers or it can be a mixture of both. So, if a matrix contains even one complex number, it becomes a complex matrix. Okay? If it contains even one complex number, means it has some imaginary part associated with it, then it becomes a complex matrix. Okay? So, a complex matrix can look like, let us say we have define a complex matrix 1, 2, 3 plus 5 i, 4, 5, 6 plus 2 i becomes i, 7 i, 8. It can be, this is also a complex matrix. Then, uh, matrix B, 1, 1, I. This becomes also a complex matrix because of this imaginary part I. One plus two I, seven, three minus five I. This also becomes a complex matrix. Okay, so if it contains imaginary part, even one imaginary part, a number with imaginary part, even one of it, it becomes a complex matrix. Okay, so the complex matrix consists of complex number. Even if there is one complex number, it becomes a complex matrix. So the next thing which we are going to discuss about is the conjugate of a matrix. Now, before we go directly to this uh, conjugate, conjugate of a matrix uh, part, first let us understand what is a conjugate. So, let us say we have a complex number A plus IB. Okay, this is a complex number. The conjugate of complex number A is represented by this symbol, the bar, A bar, A conjugate. In the conjugate of the complex number, the real part stays as it is. In the imaginary part, we multiply it with minus 1. So, it becomes negative minus I Okay, only the imaginary part, the imaginary number, the number which is associated with this i, it becomes negative. So, this is the conjugate of A. For example, if we have a number 1 plus 2i, its conjugate will become 1 minus 2i. Okay? If there is a number, let us say, only i, it becomes minus i. 
so this is the whole idea of the conjugate now about how to determine the conjugate of a matrix suppose we have a matrix a complex matrix a given by 1 plus 2i 2 1 minus 3i and here it is i this is the complex matrix a what is the 2 cross 2 matrix square matrix the conjugate of the above matrix it will be first we have to determine the conjugate of this 1 plus 2i so it will become the real part will stay as it is it will become 1 minus 2i 2 is a real number so it will stay as it is this is 1 minus 3i so the real part will stay as it is and when we multiply minus 1 with minus 3 it will become plus 3 so plus 3i and here it is plus i so it will become minus i so what we have done in order to determine the conjugate of a matrix we calculated the conjugate of the individual elements of the matrix if it is a complex number we kept the real part as it is and multiplied the imaginary part the number the imaginary the number associated with this i with minus 1 to determine the conjugate so we have to determine the conjugate of each and every element involved in the matrix here 2 is the real number so it stayed as it is because it has no imaginary part similarly if we have a matrix let us say another matrix we take a 1 plus i 2 minus 3i 4 then 7 plus 2i minus i and 3 minus 2i so here we have taken a 2 cross 3 matrix its conjugate let us say it is b so b conjugate will be we have to determine the conjugate of the individual elements here it is 1 plus i it will become 1 minus i the imaginary part is multiplied with minus 1 here it is 2 minus 3i it will become 2 plus 3i 4 will remain as it is because it is a real number 7 plus 2i will become 7 minus 2i minus i will become plus i and 3 minus 2i will become 3 plus 2i ok so this is how the conjugate of a matrix is evaluated we have to determine the conjugate complex conjugate of each and every individual element which is present in the matrix if it is a real number then it, there is no problem it will stay as it is because it has no imaginary part ok so this is how we determine the conjugate of a matrix so the next concept which we are going to discuss about uh, the complex matrix is the transpose of the conjugate of a matrix we have already discussed about conjugate of a matrix here we will discuss about transfers of the conjugate of a matrix so it is very simple first we have to determine the conjugate of a matrix then we have to calculate the transpose of the conjugate matrix ok so let us say we have a, a matrix A we will take a simple matrix 2 cross 2 1 plus 2i 2 uh, 3 and this is 2 minus 3i let us say we have a matrix A first we will determine the conjugate of this matrix for conjugate determination simple we will keep the real part as it is the imaginary part will be multiplied with minus 1 and we have to do it with ind individual elements 2 is a real number so it will stay as it is 3 is also a real number so it will stay as it is 2 minus 3i the real part will stay as it is and 
the imaginary part will become plus 3i. So, this is the conjugate of matrix A. Now, the transpose of the conjugate of the matrix. So, this is given as A conjugate transpose. Okay, transpose of the conjugate of matrix A. So, now we will utilize the transpose principle. So, the rows and columns are interchanged. So, the first row of this conjugate matrix becomes the first column. So, this 1 minus 2i and 2. First row became the first column. Second row will become the second column. This is 3, this is 2 plus 3i. Okay. So, this is the transpose of the conjugate of a matrix. So, this uh, transpose of the conjugate, this can also be represented as this A conjugate transpose can also be represented as in this way A theta or A star. They all mean the same transpose of the conjugate of a matrix. So, here first what we have to do? We, we will be given a matrix, a complex matrix of course. First, we have to determine the conjugate of the matrix, which means we have to determine the conjugate of each and every individual element. For complex numbers, we will keep the real part as it is and invert the imaginary part. Then, after having determined this conjugate of the matrix, we will use the transpose principle and determine its transpose by interchanging the rows and the columns. The first row will become the first column, the second row will become the second column and so on. So, this is about the transpose of the conjugate of a matrix.